welcome to Great Chefs of the Caribbean, featuring the New World cuisine from some of the island's finest chefs. This time from St. Martin, Pierre Castagne. From St. Croix, David Kendrick. And from Nevis, Joseph Teuschler. St. Martin is part French and part Dutch. Chef Pierre Castagne cooks on the Dutch side, but he's all French. Following service in the Army, he did 20 years of intense globe trotting before moving to the island. Since 1983, his Le Paraquette has offered no holds barred French fare, like foie gras with truffle vinaigrette. I, can, I, start, I make poireau vinaigrette in a foie gras and vinaigrette truffle sauce, and I take the leeks. I clean like that. Put in the water. the wash for take out the sun and after you take the first round. I don't know if it's my English is good no I move like that for sure the sun is go out. And I put the leeks in a very hot water with the salt, cooking for about five, six minutes. And no cover for keep the yellow and the green the proper own color. The cooked leeks are drained and will be served at room temperature. A simple, if not expensive, vinaigrette is made with Dijon mustard, truffle juice, oil, and seasoned with salt and white pepper. Now I prepare the vinaigrette with the truffle juice. Little bit fresh mustard from Dijon. I put the truffle juice, no vinegar. You might want to consider vinegar since four ounces of truffle juice costs $98. Little bit salt, pepper, and three quart volume the truffle juice in oil. Test. Little bit more pepper. I chop the shallot. Very fine. And now I'm working 
with the goose lever. You take your goose lever, take your knife, put in a hot water, and you slice. Nice scallop. You need it. The foie gras will be quickly sautéed in a preheated Teflon pan. And you take your goose scallop, put in a pan. Cooking medium rare, you see for the brown color. Little bit salt. Little bit pepper. Presentation starts with leeks. After you take the leeks, little bit warm, you put in your plate. You get the nice foie gras. Serfeuille. Truffel, and the dressing. As frequently happens in the Caribbean, David Kendrick came to visit a sister on St. Croix and ended up staying. A self-taught cook, he opened his first operation in 1985, and except for an intermission when Hurricane Hugo plastered the island, has operated restaurants ever since. His entree is swordfish piccata. Uh, now we're going to do a swordfish piccata with a lemon caper butter, and we'll start the batter now. It's flour. Parmesan cheese. One egg. And milk. to add a little bit more Parmesan as you're going for the thickness. Scraping the bowl. Okay, 
the batter's finished and we'll get the oil ready in the pan. The swordfish is cut into serving portions, dredged in flour, and coated with the batter. It will be presented with slices of star fruit and accompanied by a simple pan sauce made with lemon juice, white wine, capers, and butter. Okay, now we'll start the swordfish. Take a nice medallion of sword. Like this. You need to dredge it in flour first. Just lay it in the batter. And make sure your oil is hot. And you know, as you let it brown and puff, and then flip. And then you finish it in the oven. 400 degrees for seven to eight minutes. Now we raise the heat. We add a little bit of capers. Fresh parsley. Lemon juice. And a little bit of white wine. That goes down a little bit. Now we add the butter. So, we mound in the butter so it incorporates instead of breaking. For garnish, take a little star fruit or carambola. Give it in some parsley. Being a pastry chef from Austria is like being a hockey player from Canada. In fact, Joseph Teuschler did work in Canada, first at Chateau Lake Louise in Alberta, then at the Four Seasons in Toronto. Now he offers pastry magic on the former British island of Nevis, lime parfait with raspberry coulis. Okay, for the chocolate layered uh, lime parfait with the raspberry sauce, we're using the lime juice. I use two cups. using one cup of milk.
12 yolks. Sugar, one cup. And we're using the zest from one lime, finely chopped. Over sour water, over Ben Marie. I whip it until thick. Whisk over the warm water until the egg yolks are pale yellow and the mixture has increased appreciably in volume. Cook it until thick. We warm the parfait mix up. Chill it right on ice. And cool it down again. in a bigger bowl. And I'm adding four cups of heavy cream. To slowly mix it with the buffet. The lemon parfait goes in a small pan. I put paper inside so it's easy to lift it out when I need it. And I fill it up to the half. The parfait is frozen for at least three hours, then is presented after being cut into discs. The Napoleon configuration is done with layers of dark chocolate. Garnish includes fresh raspberries and shaved white chocolate. To assemble the dessert, we use the raspberry sauce. I fill it up in a squeezing bottle. This is creme anglaise. Thank you. 